What's Gucci fam? Hey, it's Still Exotic. We out here. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're doing well. We're here to talk to you about our live stream that was two weeks ago for 24 hours. 24 hour live stream, baby. Yeah. At the very end of our live stream, like maybe 30 minutes before, Robbie from Night Swim Radio was asking us like, what was your favorite moment? And perhaps some other questions, but we were, have been streaming for 23 and a half hours. And we just ate like the spiciest noodles of our lives, except for until like a few minutes later when we ate the even spiciest noodles of our lives. Back to back. We literally did the spicy noodles challenge. I don't know if you've seen the spicy noodle challenge. That's what we did. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so I, I could not process the fact that he was asking us questions. I couldn't think of anything to say. And I was halfway to the grave at that moment, so. <laughs> but it inspired us to make this video, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just want to answer some of the questions uh, and also hopefully be able to give any advice to any of you who may be wondering how to go about doing a 24-hour Twitch live stream or live stream in general, for mm. that matter. We just did it on Twitch. But yeah. Yeah. Shout out Night Swim Radio. Shout out. <laughs> so Robbie asked, what was your favorite part? I think maybe one of my favorite moments might have been like dancing. The dancing part where people were DJing and we were dancing. Nice. Number yeah. Two. Um, man, it's a tough one. There was a lot of favorite moments, but I'm gonna say top three. So top oh. three favorite moments. Cause they all kind of tie. One was dancing, just all of the DJ sets at the end. Diamond Girl from Night Swim Radio, followed by Mr. XO, followed by Rick and Niche, followed by Mare. It was just non-stop back to back party. It's crazy. Hella fun. Yeah. Another one of my favorite moments when it was like four in the morning or something, and we were starting to get delirious, and then Chris Sonko came and raided us with like forty people, yeah. and we just started another dance party in the middle of the morning. My other favorite moment was probably it's probably either between Lenny's lesson because I was lit because people were going crazy in the chat and playing. Uh, Fall Guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're doing top three, I actually want to change my, so like, probably the third one will be the dancing part. Second part was around like, I don't know, probably like 6 a.m. or something. We were playing Borderlands. And I just felt tired. Like, I felt like so tired. And I was like, dude, we still have six more hours. <laughs> but just yeah. like feeling the weight of like delirious tiredness and playing Borderlands. I don't know. Something about it was just really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a masochist, I nice. guess. There you go. And then my other favorite part was when we seriously hit twelve hundred dollars. Yes. Raised, because like I thought we were gonna raise maybe three hundred dollars if we were lucky. We mm -hmm. had three organizations we were raising money for, so like I was like, ooh, I don't know if I should have done this. Like I should just focus on one, and I don't even know what we're gonna raise if we're gonna raise. We managed to raise a good chunk of money, and yes. I was so happy we hit our highest goal past our highest goal all thanks <laughs> to all of our amazing viewers so with that being said what would you say were some things that worked well in the stream um i really enjoyed playing video games after like we had like back-to-back -back speakers and everything going on until 12 and then at that point we were just like all right we're just gonna play games because i don't know we can't really concentrate and stuff Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed the games portion, like playing Jackbox, playing Borderlands, playing Fall Guys. Like, that was heck of fun. So I think it was a really good call to not do speakers after we've been all streaming for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Having speakers to begin with, having guests, like, yes, good, good call again. Definitely. If you're going to do a 24-hour stream, definitely have guests if you can. Even if it's not presenters, like, at least have people to, like, play with you or something like we're lucky we have each other yeah uh, that's another thing that worked well was being delirious with you because <laughs> i don't know if i could have done that by having myself a, having a teammate for sure <laughs> for sure made it smoother what well, worked well our just our community i love our community we have such cool friends and followers and fans and family and stuff so yeah. that was really cool oh oh the stretch goals that worked really well we have, so we, our first stretch goal was $300. At $300, we took our Arizona shots. It was terrible. <laughs> At $600, we did a little giveaway. At $900, which I didn't think we were going to hit, we ate the spicy ramen challenge. And then at $1,200, which I really didn't think we were going to hit, we ate the two times spicy ramen noodles. That was so ridiculous. It was so bad. 
<laughs> so freaking bad. Oh my gosh. But, but having those incremental prizes for our viewers, really, yeah. uh, people donated because of those even more so than just because like they wanted to donate to the place. Like They wanted to see us eat those noodles. Yes, especially getting to the higher amounts, getting to the $900 and $1,200 donations. Oh like. God. People just wanted to see us suffer. <laughs> they just wanted to see us eat those spicy noodles. I understand it though. Yeah, yeah I felt it. How about you? Would is there anything that I didn't mention, or you, anything you want to expand on? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, one thing I think that worked really well was if you have a schedule of events that you want to do, um, leaving time in between the schedules. Don't pack the schedule full minute by minute. Mm. Uh, is good that we left. You know, 15, 20, whatever the 15 minute, minute buffers. buffers in between everything that we plan to do because you will use that time and you will inevitably go over, mm -hmm. um, which we did and it worked out. By the time we were like over, over, it was already by the end of the scheduled things. Yeah. So we had already worked that into plan. And speaking of planning, another thing that works well is plan your meal time. If you're gonna do a 24 hour stream, you obviously have to eat and just expecting to survive that 24 hours off of energy drinks and chips is not gonna cut it. <laughs> you have to eat like real food at some point in there. So schedule yourself en uh, enough time to make or obtain that food somehow and eat it. Yeah, we had a dinner break where someone delivered <clears throat> pizza to us and we, mm -hmm. we ordered it the day before and yeah. put in a, like a time specified order time. Mm -hmm. And we gave that a little leeway too. So unless you have like nothing going on in your stream, like no schedule of events, don't even order like Uber Eats or something on this on the fly. Like you can order in advance a lot of yeah. food like ordering. The day before or something. Yeah. So just like do that if you're going to have a schedule. Also, I would say another thing that worked really well was actually uh, Zoom calling people and then just capturing the Zoom calls in OBS. Mm -hmm. It actually turned out to, it worked really smooth. We didn't stream from Zoom. We just had it on the desktop and captured with OBS. Mm -hmm. It worked really smooth, surprisingly smooth, actually. Another thing that I think worked well was making Facebook events and inviting hella everyone and just constantly posting about it on social media and stuff. Yeah. I think that worked well to like, especially coming closer to the event to like just keep reminding people yeah. And I think because of that, you know, a lot of people that would normally engage with us on social media and stuff or that we invited through the Facebook came through at some point. Mm. We made like a master event for the main just 24 hour stream. And then I made separate events for each presenter that we had because I knew that each presenter might draw like a different demographic of our followers. And then on top of that, I also made graphics for each presenter, um, graphics for the whole event. And I posted those regularly in the weeks leading up to the event. I made a logo just for this event. I made sure that the logo was present on all of the event materials, as well as a color scheme and theme. And I just got that from Canva. I just copied and made more pages, basically. That worked really well because it kind of tied all of the promotional stuff together for that. And the last thing I would say is just the very concept of having speakers and presenters and other people featured on the stream. We did a fundraiser stream. We're musicians, but we also did games. So we kind of like incorporated a lot of stuff into this stream. But even if you're like strictly playing games through the stream, it can really help to take the load off of you for that whole 24 hours if you even just invite a friend to come on and play games or like someone to come through and do something. Cause most of the time, if you're doing charity, other people are going to be down, mm -hmm. you know, are going to support whatever cause it is. And so it can be really helpful to reach out to other people and include other people in your stream. And on that note, I, I reached out to some people who I thought was like, I wasn't sure they were going to say yes or no. And I did get some no's and mm -hmm. like, that's okay. I also got some unexpected yeses that were very enthusiastic. So like, I don't know, just take a chance and, you know, lay it all out what you're doing and why. Yeah. Some people might volunteer to participate that you might be unsure of if they would or not. So yeah. take a chance. Since we've covered what worked well, what are some things that you would do differently? So I spent two months planning this. I would have, I should have spent at least three months, I think. The first month I should have spent getting everybody wrangled together because having all of the different speakers and stuff, uh, you have to kind of get a schedule and you have to wrangle everyone who says yes, who says no. Hmm. 
And then once you get everyone wrangled together, start making a schedule for the day and then, you know, finalizing times because you might give someone a time and then it doesn't work for them because they weren't getting back to you soon enough. And so then you have to move everything around and that's okay. But um, it's good to have some time. And then a little over a month out is probably when I would have liked to have had all of the promotional materials ready and prepared and done and then have the Facebook events made and then focus solely the last month on running ads. If you want to run ads, posting on all your socials, schedule posts so you don't even have to think about it. Major key, scheduling the posts. Yeah. What's the app we use? Planoly for Instagram. Twitter and Facebook let you schedule posts directly on the platform. So that's cool. And in that last month as well, figuring out all of the last of the technical things like fundraiser, bars, like raffle stuff, because you can do that in Twitch, troubleshooting with Zoom. I would say this is coming from us. You know, we had a lot of presenters. We had a lot of other people part of it. But even if you're not having too many people or if it's just going to be you, it's still a good idea to make yourself a schedule throughout the day just because it's going to help you to keep track of where you are during your stream. And it's going to bring, you know, potentially more people that might be interested in different things you're going to be doing. Even if you're only going to play games, maybe, you know, plan to play certain games at certain times or whatever. Um, and just have, to, uh, you know, some sort of schedule to go by so that people can know what to expect, too. Time is a big one. Give yourself whatever amount of advanced time you think you need. Give yourself more time. <laughs> and have a backup plan for everything. Because, like, our stream had, we had to reset the stream in the middle, like, the halfway point of the stream. Our just, our audio crapped out. So we had to, you know, reset everything. Luckily, we got everything working, up and working again. But just be ready. Things will go wrong. Just expect it. One, for peace of mind. Just so you're not freaking out on your stream and like whatever. Just for peace of mind, just expect things may go wrong and it's okay. Mm. Plan for them too so that you know what to do in the case of something going wrong. Something that I personally would have liked to do if we had given ourselves more time was to test more of the testing out the stream itself. The way we were going to have everything run with someone. We kind of tested a few things ourselves just between us, but it would have been more helpful to have like a third person and stream with the whole setup exactly as it was going to be. Cause there ended up being found out after there was like some other weird audio stuff going on, which wasn't too bad. You know, it just would have been cool to like figure that out and get it situated, but there's no way we could have known mm -hmm. uh, unless we tested it out. Luckily it wasn't noticeable enough for anyone to really say anything. Another thing I would say that I would have done differently is I would have taken more into account like our own situation. Each person, obviously your streaming setup and everything is different, but we stream out of a garage. You can't tell because we did like extreme makeover garage makeshift a studio edition. Mm -hmm. But we stream out of a garage with very little insulation and no air conditioner and very limited electrical outputs. <laughs> I just happened to choose the second hottest weekend of the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it was 100 degrees in here like the whole time we were streaming. I was so anxious that the computer was gonna crash and like not just crash, but like permanently be fried and dead. <laughs> like we were really pushing it. And I think that the computer did suffer long term because of it. I think so. It's, it kind of stutters a little bit and stuff now. <laughs> Just take into account anything like that because you have to think about everything. Like if mm -hmm. you don't have an air conditioner in your studio, you maybe you might want to think about doing it more in the winter time or something when you can bundle up. Yeah. Because it's easier to bundle up, warm up the room with the computer than cool it down. Exactly. And, you know, if you're somewhere where it's hot all the time, Think about investing into getting just a little portable AC or like buy another fan or something and just keep it running. Especially if you're going to have a lot of light, if you're going to have multiple lights and cameras, if you have two computers or a computer and a Xbox or whatever, like all running simultaneously, it's a lot of heat being generated. <laughs> yeah, we have studio lights, um, we have the computer, and then we had, what is the unusual thing we had was the PS4, which generates a lot of heat, mm -hmm. and a TV. <laughs> Yeah. So it was hot as heck in here. It was hot. <laughs> and one last thing I would say that I would have done differently is to not put the damn spicy noodle challenges back to back. 
because we got the donations for those back to back. Like we hit 900 and they were like, all right, sweet. And then we hit 1200 <laughs> while we were eating it. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Shout out to Cat. Shout out to Cat. Thank but, you. <laughs> so if you're going to make some crazy uh, donation goals, just keep in mind that you may get people that just want to make you hit those goals. And uh, you, you got to do them. <laughs> so you, keep in mind what you do. You know what I would have done different too, I think, is um, the second half when we play video games, I would have hooked up with some other Twitch streamers who do video game streams mm. and like collaborated with them on that part because it could have gotten us a little bit more viewers and a little bit more donations from their viewers. Yeah. Because, I don't know, raising the money was kind of a thrill. It was really fun. It was. It was. Well, we donated 100% of all the money to the organizations, and it just, at the end of the day, it felt really awesome to be able to raise that much money. We're just two people here doing our thing, whatever. We didn't know what to expect. And because of all our amazing friends and fam and fans and everyone, we were able to help empower these organizations in our community. The last question is, uh, would we do it again? Hell yeah. Yes. Definitely do it again. We are going to do it again. This, I think this might become like an annual event, honestly. Yeah. We're planning on, uh, we're talking about planning on doing this basically an annual thing. Choose, you know, different community organizations that are relevant to whatever is necessary at the time. Hmm. Probably do it later in the year when it's a little colder. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking like November maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely. If you've never done a 24-hour stream, try it because it's really fun. It's a really great way to bring your, your viewers, your fans, your community together. By raising money for charity, one, you're gonna get a lot more support from everyone, and two, you're gonna be doing a great thing by doing whatever it is you do, whether you do music, play video games, cook, talk, chill, whatever. You're gonna be doing that and raising money for people. Mm -hmm. It's a great yeah. success. Yeah, great success. I had hella fun. Yeah. And I just wanna take a minute to say thank you to everybody who came through. You, donations or not, I'm just happy that you all came by and yes. said hi and kept us alive for 24 hours because that was that was difficult. That yeah, was hard, <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> and those of you that did donate, thank you so, 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 so much. We didn't make $1,275. Y'all all pitched Y'all made in. that. Yeah. Hell yeah. We just sat here and suffered. <laughs> suffered. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully um, you've gained some sort of insight or idea or something from this and if there's anything else that you're wondering that you want to ask us just leave a comment we will reply to you if anything else you're wondering about about the stream anything if you're wondering more about our setup or anything like that just drop a comment let us know yeah yeah like and subscribe do all the things on twitch we are twitch.tv slash illexotic just like we are everywhere. It looks like. Yeah, come see us. That's come us. say hi. Eat your veggies. Eat your veggies. And your fruits. But yeah, fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day or night. And you are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Much love, fam. Love you. Peace.